Okay, welcome back. This is the uh, next video in PPC Profit Vault. Uh, what I'm going to do now is set up the traffic to head over to the landing page. To do that, I'm going to use Bing Ads. So the first thing I've done is I've uh, set up two text ads in uh, Tracking 202. So I've just gone into text ads and set up two text ads, one called Bing Ad 1 and Bing Ad 2. Who's the other one? Click come into Get Links right here. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to first select Direct Link Setup or simple landing page setup. Choose your affiliate network right here, Lead Smack Campaign, Maps Galaxy. The uh, payout actually just went up, so I'm going to change this here in a minute. Payout's gone up a little bit there on uh, Lead Smack, so I think it's up to $4 now, which is even better. Method of promotion, landing page. I choose the landing page here, I choose the ad. First one I'm going to do is Bing Ad 1. Choose the PPC network, Microsoft Ad Center choose your account and then uh, maximum cost per click I set at 15 cents now I'm just going to click uh, generate tracking link this will be the first link I use on Bing so I'm going to head over to Bing now and set up a campaign so when you first log into Bing this is the page you'll see when you first log into Bing the first thing you want to do is just click create create campaign I'm going to name the campaign uh, maps PPC profit ball you can name this whatever you want. For time zone, I set this to, the, to be the same as my tracking 202 setup. You can check your tracking 202 time by going into your spy tab or in your my account information. In my case, it's Eastern time, which is GMT minus five. So I set that the same so that my stats coincide with each other between Bing and my Prosper settings. Campaign budget. I'm going to set this at $100 a day. If you're just starting out, you can start out at uh, anything. Uh, I would recommend at least $25 a day uh, for your testing. Um, daily budget, I set this to accelerated, which means that it'll spend my budget as quickly as possible. If you set standard, it'll spread it out throughout the day. Uh, English locations, I select United States since the offer only allows United States traffic. You can check this when you uh, look at the offer information on LeadSmac. Advanced location options. Make sure you click show ads to people in your targeted location. Ad title, I'm just going to make one up here. If you got the uh, upgrade package, then you, you'll see there's a list of different ads you can use. Most of them are pretty good. I've added those to the upgrade package. Right now, I'll just make one up so that we can get this uh, campaign set up. So I'm just going to add a little bit of information and then a call to action here. You don't want to put too many exclamation points or anything like that or else it'll be disapproved. Display URL, freeroadmaps.org. And now I'm just going to put my affiliate link in here, my tracking link actually. So what I'm doing here is uh, going back into my secure, uh, into uh, just going to go back into tracking 202 and grab that first tracking link right here. Grab that and paste it right here. Eventually I'm going to add some dynamic uh, insertion here for keyword, but I can't do that right now because Bing won't let me. So first I'm just going to enter one keyword just to uh, get this set up. Eventually, I'm going to add a bunch of keywords, and I'm going to show you how I do that using Bing Ads Editor. So as you can see, it's set to broad, five cents, uh, first page bid. Uh, I'm going to change all this. I'm going to set my bids uh, in, a, in a few moments, but for now, I'm just going to leave that the same just so I can save this campaign. On the next page, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select Add Distribution, and I want to take off Content Network. I just want to run this on the Search Network. So up here on my bid, I'm going to put this at 16 cents just to start out. You might want to start a little higher. Some people prefer to start them a little higher so that you can get uh, some more impressions and higher click-through rates, which is also a good idea. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to start at 16 cents. Uh, now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to leave it all days, all hours, and all genders. But what I will do is change the device. Since it's a download offer, uh, it only uh, works on Internet Explorer and Firefox. 
So I'm just going to choose desktops and laptops and I'm, un I'm going to unclick these two devices. Pricing model I leave the same, schedule I leave the same, exclusions I'll leave the same for now. If I decide later I want to block some IPs I might. Ad rotation, I want to rotate my ads more evenly so that I can test the two ads I've set up. If you leave it for optimized for clicks then Bing will choose the best ad and play that or er, and run that one only. And I leave ad extensions the same. So there I'm, I have the campaign set up. Uh, now I just want to select that campaign and go back into it for a second. And I want to make sure I change that ad and add another ad as well. So here I'm going to come back in here, click ads, click on the ad. Now I want to add the dynamic uh, keyword insertion right here so that every time uh, somebody searches in Bing, as long as you add this to the end of your tracking link, then it'll uh, send that keyword into my prosper into my tracking 202 stats and I'll be able to tell which keyword got what click and what conversion as well now I click save and create another I'm gonna go back into tracking 202 and get that second link so right here I just change this to Bing add Two, and then I click generate tracking link again <clears throat> this will be the second ad so here, I'm just going to add that into the destination for that new ad. And now I can add the keyword at the end. And now I just want to make up some new uh, a new ad. So I'll just say, uh, There we go. And use the same destination URL. org. And there we go. So now I save. Now the next step, now that my campaign is all set up and ready to go, now I want to add a lot of keywords. And in order to do that, I use um, Microsoft uh, Bing Editor. It's a uh, software that you can get uh, free on uh, Bing ads just go into uh, tools up here and you can get it and once you download it then you just uh, open it up <clears throat> first thing you want to do when you open it up is click the download button this will download all of the uh, uh, most recent changes that you've done online and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually add a bunch of keywords <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to change all the match types to exact phrase and broad as you can see, uh, when you come in here, you can see uh, keywords. You can actually add them manually if you wish. This is a lot harder since this takes a lot of work. Uh, there's also match type here. There's three types, exact, broad, and phrase. I'm not going to get into too much detail on what that means, but I always add all three match types when I first test out because it'll give you a lot more traffic and a lot more options and, and uh, data to test. So now that I have Bing Ads Editor open and downloaded all the changes, over on the left side I'm going to click the uh, campaign name. Uh, now I'm going to select the Keywords tab and now I want to copy that line right there. Click Copy. Now you want to open a spreadsheet. I use Open Office. Then you just click Spreadsheet here. And now I just want to paste that line into here. What I'm basically doing, and uh, actually here, you want to click comma. If you're using uh, Excel, you can use Excel as well. First thing I want to do is I want to remove these two lines, these two columns, I mean, so I'm going to delete that. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bunch of keywords here, and then I'm going to change the match type and the bid. And uh, this will allow me to easily upload a bunch of keywords to uh, Bing Ads Editor and then re-upload them to the Internet. This might sound confusing, but it's the easiest way to do this to get a lot of uh, keywords and change all the bids and, and match types quickly. So in order to get a list of keywords, if you got the upgrade package to PPC Profit Vault, then I actually provided a bunch of keywords there. I actually provided about six lists. The first list I'm going to test is actually the list of general maps keywords to test right here. If you open that, 
it'll give you a large list of keywords that you can use. Uh, I'll, I'll use them all here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select them all, and then I'm going to copy them. Come back into this uh, spreadsheet here and paste them in this line here. Click OK. So as you can see, all the keywords have been added to the spreadsheet. Now I want to make sure I change all the the uh, match types to broad first, and I'm going to change the bid here to 16 cents. So then I select these two uh, boxes, hold down my control key, and drag this all the way down to the end. So it's going to copy those that into all those cells for me. As you can see now, it's getting a lot quicker. So I've changed all the bids there. Now I also have to change all these boxes here to make sure they're all the same. So again, I select those four, hold down my control key, and drag that little square, square down. Okay, so now I've dragged that down. Let go. Now I want to select this corner box here. Come back up to the top. Hold down your shift key and click this box here. Now I've got them all selected. I want to copy those. And now I'm going to do the same thing down below here so that I can change the match types on these keywords. Come back up here. Paste that in there. Now I'm going to change this to phrase. Now I'm just going to drag this all the way down to the end again. So now I've changed all of these keywords again to phrase match. And now I want to do the exact same thing once more. All those keywords are still on my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it again. And now I want to change this to exact. And then drag that down. So as you can see here, now I have about 1,738 keywords. I'm just going to select that corner box there. Go right back up to the top, hold down my shift key, and click that box. And I have them all selected. Click copy. Now come back into Bing Ads Editor and click this box right here, multiple changes. And now I just paste that right in there and click import. Review the information and uh, click import again. So as you can see, it's reviewing and processing the data. And there you go. So basically, it just added 1,737 keywords to that campaign. Now the last step is just to hit sync. And basically what this is going to do, it's going to add those keywords right up online into my Bing Ads account. So right now, I just wait for the status here. And once it says success, then I can go back and check and make sure that it, it was, in fact, added to my account. So here we go. Um, let's just wait for that to process. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now it says success. Now I can go back into my Bing Ads account and hit refresh. There's over 35 pages of keywords now in my account, all of with the same bid. I've got broad, exact, and phrase uh, for all the keywords. My ads are all set, so everything is basically done now for this campaign. I'm ready to uh, watch the traffic come in and start optimizing. So if you uh, got the upgrade package, then you know that I've set up my landing page to have that other uh, linking mechanism in there so that I get two forms of income coming in. Uh, so that's all set up as well. Uh, the offer has been uh, increased on LeadSmack, so that now it's paying $4. So this should be uh, an easy campaign to run. So right now, uh, this is the end of the video. We'll uh, get into the next video, which is optimization.